earlier on, we say that we can describe a translation by giving its angle and the distance. Or we can use the vector method, where the motion is broken down into the horizontal component and the vertical component. There is actually an advantage when we use the vector method. This is because it fits very nicely with the coordinate system. When combined with the coordinate system, we can find out the image very easily. Find the coordinate of the image for point P31 with translation 26. Translation 26 is 2 units to the right and 6 units up. And the image P' coordinate is 5, 7. Note that we can get coordinate 5 by adding coordinate 3 with the horizontal movement of 2 here. And we can get the coordinate 7 by adding coordinate 1 with the vertical movement of 6. So in general, the coordinate of object plus the vector, we get coordinate of image. So the coordinate x and y plus translation vector a, b, we get x plus a, y plus b. And this is the coordinate of the image. Determine the coordinate of the image for point Q, negative 3, 2, with translation, negative 4, 5. To get the coordinate, of course, we can work it out in the Cartesian plane, moving the points 4 units to the left, and then 5 units up, and then we check the coordinate. Or we can simply get the coordinate of the image by adding the coordinate with the vector. So, negative 3 plus negative 4. We get negative 7. 2 plus 5 is 7. So, the coordinate of this image, Q prime, is negative 7, 7. 